Dr. Jill, and this time, uh, something a lot of folks, I bet, had not considered, Jill. Uh, your pet might need an EKG. How do I know my pet has a heart problem? Hey, Paul. Good morning. You know, it's National Pet Dental Month, and really important to tie that in is cardiac disease. I'm here today with Dr. Mackay. He's a board-certified veterinary cardiologist. There's only about 220 of them in the world. And uh, he's going to show us how important it is to do an ultrasound. We're here with little Miss Holly, and I detected a heart murmur before her dental exam. And so I referred her to Dr. Mackay, and we're going to show you how cool this is. Good morning, Dr. Mackay. Good morning, Dr. Rubin. So what we're looking at here is uh, an image of the heart showing the left ventricle and the left atrium. Uh, when we have these younger dogs, such as Holly, since she's only two years old, we're looking for heart disease that she was more likely born with than she has acquired a kind of in an older age. So there's certain things we look for that wouldn't be the same as we're looking in older patients. And look at this. There's an EKG hooked up. There's a Doppler. You can see full color. It detects any kind of heart disease. It measures the heart. This is phenomenal. So what we do is we go through and take a series of pictures all, they, all the patients have to do is lay here uh, very still, and we're able to look for any valvular insufficiencies, look for narrowing of valve areas. Here we're going to see the blood velocity going through the pulmonic valve as the blood goes out to the, to the lungs, looking for stenosis or narrowing of that valve. And those all look normal, but what we did find on her earlier today is that she has a little bit of a leak on her aortic valve. We can see right here in the middle of the image kind of looks like a lit match. And so that could be one of the things we can see associated with her heart murmur. Now knowing this along with potentially having dental disease is that this can predispose the patient to developing an infection inside the heart. So knowing this ahead of time is very important because we're able to use antibiotics to helpfully prevent infection from developing inside the heart. Yeah, you know, this is just amazing. We caught this early. This is a young puppy. She's only two years old, very athletic. You'd never know it. But boxers, Paul, because we know you love them, are very prone to heart disease. So you want to make sure your veterinarian checks your pet out every year before their dental cleaning. I know. I had no idea. And, you know, it's interesting. I, I never made the connection. Uh, years ago, a friend of mine, a human being, uh, had a heart problem he did not know about, and it was following oral surgery. You know, there is a bacteria, am I right, doctor, that can affect your heart, and that's why you start people on, or dogs on antibiotics before having any kind of or oral uh, treatment, correct? That's right, that's correct. And so you want to make sure, check your pet out, make sure you have a full physical before any kind of type of dental cleaning. Wow. All right, well, give that beautiful boxer a smooch for me, and as we go, can I ask how much it costs to run down to the heart doctor and get this job done? I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> Dr. Mackay is a referral doctor. He works through veterinary hospitals. They vary around town anywhere between four to $550. It's, it's a high ticket item, but it's well worth it. And these people, these cardiologists are very highly trained individuals. Yeah, it's amazing I, technology. I that's something that uh, pet insurance would help take oh, care yeah, of too. Yeah, I, would, I would think. Uh, and thank you very much, Dr. Jill. It's always a pleasure talking to you and give that boxer a smooch. And uh, if you folks need to make an appointment with Dr. Jill, check out our website. It's Dr. Jill with a Y, J-Y-L.com, or call her up. The number is right there on your screen. Frank's